Hi, I'm Joe Dante. Welcome to Trailers from Hell. Sometimes the most influential movies turn out to be fairly obscure when compared to the movies they influenced. I give you, for instance, Planet of the Vampires or It the Terror from Beyond Space, which, as we all know, led to Alien. Uh, the trailer we're going to look at today is for the first uh, film adaptation of Richard Matheson's 1954 vampire apocalypse novel, I Am Legend. It's been filmed several times. This was the first time, starring Vincent Price, and the title, The Last Man on Earth. Vincent Price plays the only surviving human among a population of bloodthirsty victims of a worldwide plague. During the day, he ventures out to stake them and to drop their bodies in a toxic pit. I saw this on a double bill with Dr. Terror's House of Horrors at the Archeo Palace on Broadway in 1965 and didn't realize what a long journey it had taken to reach that screen. In the late 50s, Richard Matheson adapted his novel into a screenplay for Britain's Hammer films, but the British censor blocked production. They told Hammer no film that gruesome could be shown in Britain, effectively killing it. Robert L. Lippert, the American producer who'd worked with Hammer in the past, took on the project, and Matheson was thrilled when Lippert told him the picture would be directed by the great Fritz Lang. Alas, when the movie finally went into production in Italy, the director was the somewhat more prosaic B-picture specialist, Sidney Salco. An Italian director, Ubaldo Ragona, is credited on Italian prints. Ultimately, Matheson took his name off of what has so far proven to be the most faithful of all the film versions of his book because he felt Price was miscast and that the movie was tacky. Substandard dubbing doesn't help, but the film's reputation today has been bolstered by George Romero's cheerful admission that it greatly influenced, as you can see, Night of the Living Dead. The Roman locations lend an eerie, otherworldly quality, especially weird, for a picture supposedly set in America. Charlton Heston starred in the almost unrecognizable remake, Omega Man, and later, Arnold Schwarzenegger was supposed to headline a third try, which eventually surfaced as a Will Smith vehicle, finally under the actual title, I Am Legend. A straight-to-video film ripoff was called I Am Omega. The picture's gone into public domain now and can be seen a lot more easily, and is a much better picture than its checkered reputation suggests. Mm -hmm. 